back everyone, Jobber here, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's going to be absolutely insane. So we're going to be popping open a ton of OTS 13, OTS 14, and then one of you mailed me 18 booster packs of the Dark Neo Storm set. And what I'm going to do with these booster packs is I'm going to share the love with one of you. I'm going to give away all the polls that we get from these booster packs to one of you, and all you have to do to enter into this contest is be a subscriber, give this video a like, comment down below your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card you saw pulled in today's video. Follow me on Instagram, I'll have a link to that in the description down below. And also share this video with your friends, always super helpful. And that's it for that part. And I got a bunch of these booster packs. I had 200 of these booster packs in total of 13 and 14. I used my scale, I weighed out all the heavy ones. So there's a bunch of ultimate rares mixed amongst these and a bunch of ultimate rares mixed amongst these as well. But not all of them are ultimate rare. There's gonna be super rares in here as well. I figured that'd be kinda of cool. There's gonna be 50 booster packs of 14, 50 booster packs of 13 with a ton of ultimate rares inside there as well. But we're gonna start things off with these dark Neostorm booster packs to go and see what one of you will be winning in today's video. So without any further ado, everyone, let's get cracking. All right, so let's get these 13s out of the way, these 14s, and let's move over to these Dark Neo Storm booster packs. They were mailed to me by one of you. So thank you so much for the love and support. I absolutely appreciate it. And that's why I wanted to go and share the love with one of you guys. Help start out one of your guys' collections. A lot of you are just getting back into the card game or just starting to collect and whatnot. I thought that would be a really, really cool way to give you guys a little jump start. All the cards, too. Every single card. So all these common cards, the rares, these foils, every single card is our first foil right there. So all these cards are going to be given away to one of you. I'm going to put it all into a box, and I will announce the winner in the comments of the next video. So stay tuned for that, where the notifications come in, so you get notified when I post future openings. Check that out, and I will announce the winner in the comments. I always pin that post, making it nice as easy as possible for you guys to find. But yeah, gosh, it has been a quite a while since we've opened up any of these booster packs. I think I got some of these packs in blister pack form from a Walmart quite a while ago. So... It has been, <laughs> it's been a long time since we've opened up any of these, so I really hope that we pull, uh, it'll be really awesome if we end up pulling a secret rare or something out of here to give away to one of you. Either way, this will be a nice little jump start, quite a stack of foils and commons and rares to one of you. That's going to be absolutely epic. There is another one of our super rares, and there is our rare. This is, uh, obviously you can tell that it's not the newest of all the sets because... You're still able to get a foil and a rare out of these booster packs. They have rolled out with the new base sets. You just get commons and then your one foil card in every single booster pack instead of the rare. A lot of people thought they were just going to discontinue rares, but that was not the case at all. There's still, uh, there's actually some sets out there that just have, instead of having commons in there, they just have rares. So it's been pretty cool, actually, what Konami's been doing with the card game. Been an absolute blast. I really hope that uh, your guys' week has been going well and a weekend, having some fun time with your friends and whatnot. I love reading all your guys' comments. Nice, this is actually a really epic super rare. So when I first read this card, when I went to the sneak peek over at my locals, obviously this is quite a while ago now, um, I could not believe how powerful this card is. I've been using two to three copies of this card in all of my anti-meta decks. It's just like a trap card. You take control of one of your opponent's monsters. You can't attack with it, but I mean, just the point of you being able to like take it. And then with all the links and everything, you just link off their monsters. It's a pretty incredible trap card. Really, really, really powerful stuff. Definitely one of those cards I love playing in my anti meta decks. Play that with Compulsory in there as well. It, oh, nice. We have getting our first non-super rare. And it, these cards are absolutely stunning. I have yet... I've seen the deck, but I've yet to see the deck be played. I've actually seen my friend had a build of it. And I need to go ask my friend to actually play some matches, maybe online so I can watch. But this deck is absolutely incredible. The cards are just beautiful looking. Right on. So there's our first... Whoops. Our first non-super rare pull. Let's go and see if we can go and add to this pile to one of you. That is going to be absolutely epic. And I'll just go and box all these cards up for one of you and then uh, ship them off once I pick a random winner. That's going to be really exciting. I can't wait. And thank all you guys for tagging me on, on Instagram and you guys' stories and whatnot for the... Some of your guys' prizes you guys have already received and whatnot. That has been really, really cool. I love uh, knowing that you got another crackdown. Nice. Two. Hopefully we pull one more. Even two is fine. I've been playing most of the time I've been playing two. 
it's uh, nice to know when uh, you guys do do that tag that you guys got the got the stuff in the mail because you just never know at the post office nowadays. Sometimes the cards just get lost in the mail. But so far, so good without having anything getting lost. I actually haven't heard of anybody getting any of their packages lost as of uh, this year. It was happening quite a bit in December, unfortunately, for me. I was uh, I sell stuff on my eBay store and was doing a lot of shipping. And gosh, it was like a lot of people were having their stuff. I mean, they were tracked. And some of their orders were just not moving. They were just stuck at <laughs> random states for... Uh, an exorbitant amount of time they ended up getting them so i guess it wasn't like technically lost but they kind of were lost because some of the, some of these packages like i i shipped off and there was a handful of them and they were stuck in some i want to say it was like sacramento or something and they were stuck there for like three weeks and then they finally got scanned in and got delivered over to them but i i don't know what happened there but it was the holiday season so a lot of a lot of the post office were just overwhelmed with uh christmas packages and whatnot so i think that's what it was but it seems like things have got gotten a lot better moving into this year the 2021 year with the post office at least i haven't had any issues as of yet so that has been nice well, we pulled like three copies of this card i think it's crazy and at two super rare crackdowns let's go and see if we can go and add one more crackdown two is good I, uh, the ratio I was doing was two crackdown and three compulsory. Sometimes I do three crackdown and two compulsory. I really like compulsory as a whole because it's a, a great offensive defensive card. Uh, I was able to go and win quite a few games when my opponent would try to go uh, play defensive against me. And you have all your antimony monsters, and sometimes you just can't get around a <laughs> high defense monster. So it's nice to be able to just compulse it off the board to their hand and then just go and swing for game. So that's why I like it. But, you know, Crackdown can basically do the same thing in most scenarios. Another very powerful card, Mystic Mine card that I was running in my antimony deck as well. It had as a three copy of. Incredible. I am actually shocked this card never got limited. A lot of people thought this card was going to go to one or get banned. So Mystic Mine, probably the most powerful field spell card to ever be printed. Absolutely incredible. So one Mystic Mine, two Crackdowns. The antimatter cards are flowing in. Absolutely awesome. Let's go and see if we can get another... Ooh, I was about to say, another Ultra, nice. This Firewall XC Dragon is beautiful looking. So this makes a second Ultra Rare to one of you, right on. And some really good Super Rares, that Mystic Mine. Those things are kind of, they're still kind of expensive. I think they're like five or six bucks. <laughs> it's such a hard time <laughs> keeping track of some of these card prices. They just seem to fluctuate like overnight. You wake up the next day and a card that was worth nothing is worth a ton or vice versa. It's been absolutely insane. Oh my gosh. All right, on to our last. We have two more booster packs here. Then we're going to move over to these OTS packs. Basically, the grand finale of uh, the opening, I'd say. There's going to be a lot of ultimate rares pulled in there. Oh my gosh, what have you scored? Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood Secret Rare. Oh my gosh, and the spooky part looks like the it's got like a little bit faded on the secret rare part. It's kind of like a little bit of a misprint. That is absolutely insane. Wow, second to last booster pack. What a pull. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to give a little shout out here to our KMC Hypermat sleeves. These are my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves, and they donated sleeves in the channel for epic moments like this. I'll have a link in the description down below if you want to go and buy some. You save yourself a little bit of money by using code JOBBER. Pretty awesome. Oh my gosh, what a pull. That is great. What a nice way to uh, build up one of your guys' collections too. That is, that is awesome. Two Ultras, one Secret, and some epic super rare pulls too. These packs were just fantastic. Let's go and see what we're gonna end things. And another one, another Firewall Exceed Dragon, nice. So we got a few Ultra Rares in here and then that one Secret Rare, that is incredible. So that's a nice little uh, stack of cards gonna be going to one of you. So you got all these commons and rares and then all of these foils are going to be going to one lucky winner. We're gonna put that spooky dogwood right here on top, put that pile right there. That is absolutely awesome. I'll go and I'll bubble wrap that all up, put it into a box, getting ready to ship that off to one of you. Absolutely epic. All right, so let's move over to our OTS 13 booster packs here. Let's go and see if we can go. Well, we're going to pull some ultimate rares for sure, more so than usual. 
Okay, Goyo Defender, XYZ unit. And all right, all right, all right, right off the bat, a ultimate rare Book of Moon. This card it was one of the most played Yu-Gi-Oh cards back in the day. It was literally a staple of three in every single Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Oh my gosh, and what a gorgeous looking card as a ultimate rare. I love it. Gotta slave this thing up. Wow, we're gonna save up all the ultimate rares. These things are beautiful. Wow. That is absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. All right, let's, let's move forward here. Like, again, there was like 200 booster packs of these, so there should be like 11 to 12 ultimate rares in total mixed amongst these other ones that are gonna have some supers as well. So we have the ABC Dragon Buster as a super rare. I actually really like this thing as a super rare. I think I like it more as a super than I even do as an ultra rare, believe it or not. So uh, let me move this pile up here a little bit. We're gonna have our ultimate rares here. We'll put our super rares right there. So we have uh, 50 of these OTS 13 packs and then 50 of the OTS 14 being the, these are the newest OTS packs that we have currently. Uh, 15, as, as far as I know, has not been released. I haven't seen any. I know that we've gotten uh, some of the cards. Some of the cards have been like leaked of what's going to be inside of it, but none of the booster packs are out as of yet. As of yet. We're out, Thou. We are super rare. Okay, let's go and see. What's in this pack? Oh, right on. All right, so Ultimate Rare Abyss Dweller. Another one of those cards that was played in every single extra deck back in the day. It has been seeing a little bit less play as of lately, but as the formats go and change, I'll see this thing pop up all over the place. So this is a really, really great reprint, and a rarity bump was a very well deserved for Abyss Dweller. That is for sure. Let's go and uh, sleeve this beautiful ultimate rare up oh my gosh yeah yeah this is uh, definitely worthy of an ultimate rare bump i really love how they did one of the og cards too a book of moon i hope that they do some more things like that like black luster soldier gin zone things like that in the future that would be absolutely insane in fact you guys can comment down below let me know what you guys would think would like to see as a ultimate rare moving forward Konami, I know they uh, watch these videos and they read the comments and stuff like that. It really helps them as well. And I just like knowing. I personally want to see Ultimate Rare Jinzo. I think Jinzo is absolutely a gorgeous looking card. Uh, one of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards to ever be printed, actually. So, <laughs> see it as an Ultimate Rare would be great. I think it would be kind of cool if they did that to a lot of the, like, the triple zero cards. Like even like Yada Garusa. Or, oh my gosh. I know I butcher the name. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> When you say something wrong for so many years, it's hard to kick it, all right? But yeah, I love Yada, and I think that card would be absolutely epic as a ultimate rare. Another Buster. And Jinzo, my gosh. Even Black Luster Soldier? We don't have an English Black Luster Soldier ultimate rare yet, do we? Oh, right on. So, wow, we've actually pulled one of each now. The Trap Tricks Raphlasia. This was one of the cards that was played in the Performer Pal deck way back. It was a big card. They were running like two copies of it in their extra decks. Really, really cool card. I, uh, I guess it's been getting a little bit of play too in the Trap Tricks decks as a whole too. It's kind of like an Antimata deck. Really cool. You should check it out if you haven't already. There's some deck profiles out there on it. Uh, Bortle, I know he topped a couple of regionals back... Uh, last year or the year before with it. So yeah, pretty cool deck. And if you like anti medic control type decks, well, it kind of does that too. <laughs> it's, it's nice. Got our common spore. Another Bahamut shark, which was originally a secret rare. It looks beautiful as a super rare as well. Some cards really like, <laughs> it's uh, even if they get, a, I don't know, like, like for instance, Book of Moon is a secret rare. I think it looks pretty cool, but as a super rare, I like it. I like it a lot more. But then you got like ultimate rare, which is even better. Oh, I guess it's just a, just your preference. So we got Deep Sea Diva right here is a super rare. That was a really big card that was getting played in the Mermail decks when that deck was uh, the absolute best Yu-Gi-Oh deck. It is an incredibly expensive Yu-Gi-Oh deck right now. Uh, not necessarily played all that much, but a lot of people have the deck all max rarity in their collections just to play with their friends for fun. So pretty cool. 
Oh, right on. So we got another Ultimate Rare Book of Moon. So we have two of these in total now. And we have, like I said, it should be about 11 Ultimate Rares, 11 or 12, we'll pull. So hopefully we'll get a playset of Ultimate Rare Book of Moon. That'll be absolutely incredible. I've been playing uh, Book of Moon in some of my anti-meta builds. Obviously, I haven't really been playing too much since everything's been kind of like locked down for me. I don't have a locals. My local card shop, they, you can go inside there and you can buy like some booster packs, but they're not hosting tournaments yet. So it has been... Hold up that, and then obviously we don't have like any any YCSs or regionals as of yet. So I've really been out of the loop with uh, my anti-meta build and stuff like that. I still have my deck from when I played it back in the was it the three v three over in Las Vegas? That was a lot of fun. I, I did pretty well with it too. I went uh, X one, only lost one game, got OTK'd. I couldn't couldn't be helped. <laughs> it was like it was like oh I got kite. Well I had my border kaiju. Uh, I had my back row lightning stormed. <laughs> it was. I lost everything. Oh, right on. Another Ultimate Rare Abyss Dweller. So we have two Abyss Dwellers and two Ultimate Rare Book of Moods. One Raphaelasia right now. This is a... Uh, this card looks really beautiful as an Ultimate Rare. I think it's because of like, the blue tinge. I really, really like... Uh, I really like blue monsters when they are Ultimate Rare. I just think they look really nice. Yeah, it helps with the colors, makes them pop. Just my, my opinion, anyway. A beautiful super rare. Another ABC Buster Dragon or Dragon Buster. I always called a Buster Dragon before. I don't know what am I what am I thinking? There might be another card out there that's like that. That's all I always always call it. I don't know what my brain flipping words around. And all right, so we now we have two, two, and two. We have six ultimate rares so far. This is our second. Trap Trick Trapalasia, this will be the only, you would only need two of these, I believe, for your extra deck. If you're playing the Trap Trick deck, I believe you only play two. It's one or two. <laughs> so, I know it's not three, but I guess you could play three if you need it. Especially with those, uh, all these different cards that are coming out, these new draws. Oh, it's our first uh, Scrap Golem Super Rare, very nice. All these new Yu-Gi-Oh cards that are coming out, these pot cards where they go and you can banish your extra deck. Abs that new one was absolutely crazy. You go and you can banish six and then uh, excavate six. is basically like a duality. You can just show six <laughs> six to your opponent. And then you pick one. And it gets to add it to your hand. And you get to put the other five in the bottom of your deck in any order you want. That is just crazy. Especially with those combo decks. It doesn't hinder you from like special summon or anything. So it's just like a lot of those combo decks, they just need one card. And when you're, <laughs> when you're going uh, six from the top of your deck, you're going to get there. Uh, Ultimate Rare Abyss Dweller, yet again. So that's our third copy of this, very nice. I got these booster packs from one of you guys as well. Thank you all so much for reaching out and helping me get epic products like this for openings. Makes it really, really cool. I actually have some really awesome booster boxes gonna be coming in the mail here pretty soon as well from one of you. So it's been really helpful. So thank you guys. If you have any cool uh, classic off the wall products and things like that, reach out to me on Instagram. I love it. It's kind of hard tracking down some of these products. I'm only one guy. <laughs> All right, so this is our third Ultimate Rare Book of Moon, right on. So that's our play set. I think I'm gonna keep a play set of these for myself. They're just really, really beautiful. I just love the way Book of Moon looks. Gosh, that is a beautiful looking card. Wow. It's always been one of my favorite cards <laughs> since it came out. Was it Pharaonic Guardian, I believe? It's a super old card. Oh, sorry. Is that our first one of these? Wow. This is why I wanted to go and mix in some of these super rares in here as well. So it's just not just the same cards being pulled over and over again. <laughs> two commons and an ultimate rare. Two commons and an ultimate rare. <laughs> like, it gets a little bit boring. So we have a Bahamut shark here. But I didn't want to go and open up. Uh, <laughs> all right. Ultra rare abyss dweller again. Um, I didn't want to open up four, <laughs> 400 booster packs in one go. Because I think that would be a little bit, uh, a little bit crazy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that would be hours. Uh, so I, I figured just narrowing down the polls, putting the, putting the condensing the ultimate rares into 50, for, uh, 50 booster packs of each is a little bit better than uh, 200 booster packs of each. That would have been insane. 
And we have our Common Spore XYZ unit and then another Ultimate Rare, uh, oh my gosh, Raphalasia. I was, was going to say Trapalasia. <laughs> Making up my own names here. Oh my gosh. It really is a beautiful looking card. All the Trap Trick cards look really awesome. And then an ABC Dragon Buster yet again. And then we move over to the newest OTS set that has come out, which would be the OTS 14. It has some really cool Ultimate Rares in there as well. And we're out thou yet again. Another Bahamut Shark. That card, that looks really beautiful as a seeker. If you haven't seen it, you should look it up. It is gorgeous. You have to find a good picture of it though. Some of those, some people post uh, stock photos and they just like looks like a common. <laughs> so you got to find a good picture, a natural photo of the card in all of its glory, and it looks absolutely stunning. Another common dimensional prison and another ultimate rare abyss dweller. Looks like we're gonna pull more ultimate rare abyss dwellers than any other of the other ultimate rares. It seems like, and I am a okay with that because that card is a beauty. Wow. All right. <clears throat> Losing my voice here, sounds like. Bottomless trap hole. Another scrap goal, nice. Man, that rare was getting really expensive there for a bit. It's crazy, these these uh, new combo decks that come out and they just, they, uh, they have these key cards for their decks and my gosh, they just make some of these cards that are worth pennies worth a ton of money overnight. Well, I mean, I, mean, I guess Scrap Goal only got up to like six or seven bucks, but I mean, for a rare, that's still a lot of money. Especially when you need to play multiple copies of a card. Adds up. You see our mascot over there. We got Jerry's Beans Man in the corners hanging out, looking over everything. Another Ultra Rare Book of Moon. That is nice. So, what is this? Our was this our fourth one? I think. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four Ultimate Rare Book of Moons. That's really nice. Formula Synchron, Bottomless Trap Hole, another Spiral card. Yeah, it was the Spiral deck when I was playing at Timita that uh, ended up OTKing me. <laughs> Fun fact. Deep Sea Diva, super rare, beautiful looking card. It was a, uh, it got reprinted as a super rare before as well. It was originally a rare, then it got super rare. I think that was it. It went rare, super, common, then super again. Kind of funny. I guess she could have been an ultimate rare in here, that would have been okay. Yeah, I guess not. It's kind of like past its mermail time, I don't know. I mean, I would have liked to see her ultimate rare, I think she'd look beautiful. Alright, Goyo Defender, and another super uh, scrap clone. What's well, our third one? That's crazy. I think that we would have pulled... you think we would have gotten more by now, but... Okay, apologies that uh, the camera, the face cam, it's battery. It was, it uh, randomly died. I don't know if the battery is just uh, needs, I need to get a new one or what? Because it was uh, a fully charged when I started and now it's already dead. All right, so that's our last of our OTS 13. Moving over to our OTS 14 packs. Let's go and see what epicness we might potentially pull from there. All righty, we'll just... Uh, Let's get right into it. And it's a really beautiful looking booster pack too. I really like it. Icarus Attack. Ooh, this is a really, actually a really nice uh, <clears throat> uh, reprint. So uh, when your opponent special summons a monster or monsters, you can activate this, you can activate one, what was it? One Activate one field spell card directly from your deck. So this is a really easy way for you to be able to get like Mystic Mind. I was side decking one actually for my Antimony deck, which is really nice. All right, so our first booster pack, we're gonna pull a Ultimate Rare Toon Kingdom, which is, uh, gosh, is it the most beautiful in the set? It probably is. I think I asked you guys before, this was your guys' favorite Ultimate Rare from the OTS 14 when I originally opened some of these ages ago. And uh, it really is just a, 
gorgeous looking card. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. All right, so there's our first first booster pack. And we're gonna get an ultimate rare. Let's go and see what other ones are in here. And other cards in between. Some of the reprints in here are great. So we got Dragoons as a super rare here. This, oh my gosh, this super rare got really expensive there for a while. And they got $15, $20 super rare. And then it, uh, then it ended up going down. I don't know where it's at right now, actually. But I, I know for a while it got crazy. Even as a common, it was getting really expensive. So I think that's why Konami decided to go and give it a little bit of a, give it a reprint, make it a little bit easier, more affordable. There's just more, if there's just more copies out there in general, make it easier for people to go and get. Because sometimes these, these cards that people find are from ancient Yu-Gi-Oh sets. It's just hard to track down. And Medolce's, oh my gosh, I love that deck. Void Ogre Dragon, and another one, nice. I'm going to say that's probably the, one of the most expensive supers in the set. I think. Maybe it's not worth anything anymore. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to go and look afterwards. I have no clue. I just like opening booster packs. Oh, nice. We have a, one of the Infernities cards. Oh, my gosh. The Infernity deck was a blast back in the day. If you haven't played that, you should put it together and play it online or play it for fun. Proxy the cards if you don't have them. The deck was so fun to play. It was like a big combo deck, and it ended with... Uh, you would have to just go and play. I don't want to spoil the fun, but it is a really, really cool deck. The Infernity deck. Oh, my gosh. Spooky deck to play against because I think it just put so much pressure and uh, damage on the board. Plus, it had all those field... Oh, right on. Ultimate Rare Nibiru. Oh, my gosh. This was a big card that got reprinted here. This was one of, for the competitive players, for sure. This is one of those cards that, like, oh, almost every deck was either... They were main decking it or they were side decking it. So, absolutely insane. Definitely getting sleeved up. That is awesome. Beautiful looking. It's probably the biggest chase card of the... <laughs> wow, alrighty. So, back-to-back uh, -back booster packs and back-to-back -back ultimate rares. And Nether Nibiru ultimate rare. Let's go and hope to get one more. That would be nice to pull a playset. Ooh, that's cool. The Raid Raptor cards... There's some really cool Raid Raptors, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way they look. Kind of remind me of the Blackwing deck. Uh, the, like the, I guess, because their style of art. I don't, they don't even look like Blackwing. I don't know why it reminds me of that. <laughs> I don't know why. It's kind of like when I was talking about one of my older videos, I was talking about Bruce Lee. And whenever I think of Bruce Lee, I think of Ninja. I don't know why. He's not a ninja. <laughs> he was not a ninja. He was a martial artist. But, I don't know. Bruce Lee was uh, an incredible human being. Oh, my gosh. All right, so we pulled two out of the three different ultimate rares that we can get from here. Let's go see if we can pull that elusive third one. <laughs> there it is. Super Polymerization. So this is one of the ones I actually held on to for myself for my Antimeta deck. I have <laughs> all the Antimeta decks since they were coming out. Uh, I've been, all the all, all the Antimeta decks that I have been coming out with, I've been playing three Super Polymerization and an absolutely a, amazing card. And since this card came to three, I mean, I, I put it was at one, I played it at one, and then at two, and then at three. <laughs> so this card is absolutely incredible. So you had like two, you had like a card that was like for the anti-meta, that you had a meta card, and then you had the Toon Kingdom. So that was not necessarily a meta card, but really, really cool ultimate rare of the set for sure. Incredible. So we have officially pulled one of each ultimate rare from here. Now, let's go and see if what other incredible pulls that we can get from here. So, we have the Super Quantum Red Layer Super Rare. Very nice. Another Dragoons. Another Nibiru Ultimate Rare. My gosh, that's actually really incredible. I think, I think Nibiru is the most expensive one out of the set. Uh, because of, you know, the meta game. <laughs> so, that always, that always increases their value. Another Super Polymerization Ultimate Rare. Okay, so two Nibiru, two Super Poly, and we have one Toon Kingdom so far. Let's go and see if we can add 
a Toon Kingdom to our pile here. Icarus Attack, Dragoons. All right, so this is our third copy of that. That's actually a really cool card to have. I might put three to the side for myself for later. I don't really know if I need it for me since I'm playing an anti-meta deck. I don't know. <laughs> nice to have it just in case, though. I'm trying to put all the cards to the side, and I have them in a box right now. They want to put them into a binder. It's just nice to have, like, options for when I'm building decks. I just obviously, I mean, that was the game plan, but then uh, uh, since there's been a lack of... Uh, tournament, I, I just put it off. I just put my deck and my, my box of cards to the side and haven't really looked at it too much. All right, so we, now we have two, two, and two. Two Ultimate Toon Kingdom, uh, Ultimate Super Polymerization, and Nibiru. Very cool. Yeah, you, you can't. I mean, Ultimate Toon Kingdom, I think, is the most beautiful looking one. I mean, obviously, I'm the I'm I have the soft spot for super polymerization, so I'm using it. And Nibiru, a lot of the meta players are gonna be loving that. But I think Nibiru looks really cool, though. But that Toon Kingdom, that's a tough one. Those are really beautiful, huh? <laughs> I was just thinking about which one is my favorite. They are beautiful looking, and another gorgeous super rare. That was really awesome, one of you uh, reaching out and mailing me all those booster packs. I I just kind of thought about it right when I was about to do this video. I'm like, you know what? Have those packs sitting over there. It'd be really cool to open those all up and then give all the pulls away to one of you. I get a little bit of love and I share the love. I love it. And it's just the way things should be. Oh, right on. So now Toon Kingdom has taken the lead. Two, two, and three now. So now let's go and see if we can go and get uh, a third Nibiru out of here and a third Super Palmerization. Let's go and tie things up. You can tell in the back here. Do you see that little press mark on the back of the card if it's an ultimate rare? I've noticed when, uh, when going through the packs. I don't know if I'm sure you guys have noticed that as well. You can tell if it's like an ultimate rare or not. Uh, nope. <laughs> it's like cheating because I'm seeing because of the way the cards come out of the booster pack. And nope. Another Infernity. Let's see here. Is this one? Oh, oh, am I seeing a press mark down there? I am. Which one is that? Which which ultra is that? Is that Nibiru? Oh, it's Nibiru, look at that. You can see the press mark around him. There he is. There's the two comments too. You can tell by the, the way the card is pressed on the back. You can see, you can literally see which ultimate it is. That's crazy, it's the first time I've actually ever noticed that. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's fun, okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice way. So now we're at a three Nibiru. Let's go see if we can get a third super polymerization. That would be insane okay so this one doesn't look like it'll be a ultimate rare is that our first void oh no 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 that's not it's not i'm going crazy we haven't pulled very many of them that's for sure for a common <laughs> now i'm all excited trying to get over to the ultimate rare go and see if we if we if there's another one in here at least <laughs> let's go and find out And uh, nope. Another Raid Raptor. I thought we've pulled a few of this. It seems like some of these uh, super rares, I, I might just be the luck of the draw, because I did, I did just randomly grab booster packs, so. Oh, another Nibiru, look at that. There it is, oh my gosh, that's so funny. Wow, and we're pulling more Nibiru's than all the other ones. I would not anticipate that at all. I would, have, I would assume like more super polymerizations or something, so that's cool. And it doesn't look like this is a ultimate rare, but that is okay because these super rares are absolutely incredible as well. Oh, 
Another super quantum red layer, man. Is that only a second copy of that super rare? If, it, if it's if we got more, I might have gotten a third, but not many. It's actually kind of crazy. Also crazy how many Nibiru's that we've been getting. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's really cool. I like the I like the super rare tokens. I really like that. That's my favorite thing they've been doing in the OTS packs is giving us those tokens. And it's really cool. I like tokens, so I've always had a soft spot for it. Especially when OCG, they had the original Gorse token. I thought that was really, really awesome. Nope. Oh, that's cool though. The smoke grenade. Another yeah, Medolce. I really love the Medolces. If you haven't played that deck or watched people play it, you should pull up a video. I'm sure there's some matches online somewhere. The Medolce deck is a really, really cool deck. Not to lose to, <laughs> but to watch it do its thing. It is pretty cool. All right, doesn't look like this one is either. Oh, that I... Okay, I didn't check the back of this one. Well, at least I wasn't paying attention. Another super rare token. All right, down to our last few booster packs. Let's go and see if there is another ultimate rare. Another super quantum red lair. Nope. All right, down to our... It's going to be our last booster pack. Let's see if this last booster pack has an ultimate rare in it. I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Oh, but it is. Oh, but the card back of the card's like almost all. Nope, I didn't. I didn't inspect it close enough. I can't. You can't tell on this one. You can tell on the Biru. Look at that. It barely has a little mark. Huh? Yeah, I never would have guessed. Last booster pack. Super polymerization ultimate rare. Very cool. Nice. Now a little pile here of some uh, some beautiful ultimate rares, and we got this giant stack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'm gonna give it away to one of you. And again, all I have to do to enter is be a subscriber. Comment down below your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card you saw in today's video. Give this video a like. Follow me on Instagram. Say hi to me, and I will always say hi back. Share this video with your friends. Always super. I just absolutely love hearing you guys' comments, and I love it when you guys share these videos with your friends as well, so they can find my channel. All right, thanks again so much for tuning in. And Jobber here is signing out.